Hello everyone, welcome back to the K-Pop Mania channel. The DUI incident that befell one of the BTS boy group members, Shuga, seems to be approaching the end point. On September 10, the Seoul Western District Prosecutor's Office, Division 2 led by Chief Prosecutor Chu hai Yoon, issued a new announcement regarding Suga BTS DUI incident. The content of the announcement states that Suga BTS has been briefly charged for a DUI incident that occurred some time ago. Suga was charged with drunk driving under the Road Traffic Act. Summary conviction is a process where the court imposes fines or penalties based on written documents rather than holding a formal hearing. The exact amount of the fine to be imposed on Suga BTS has not been disclosed by the prosecution. Previously, Suga BTS was found by police on August 6, near his residence in Hanamdong, Yongsan District, Seoul, after falling while riding an electric scooter while drunk. Based on the results of the examination, the alcohol level found on the BTS member was 0.227%. This level far exceeds the driver's license revocation threshold set at 0.08%. According to Korea's Road Traffic Act, a blood alcohol concentration of 0.2% or higher can result in a prison sentence of 2 to 5 years or a fine ranging from 10 million to 20 million won. BTS Shuga has received an indictment related to a case of driving an electric scooter while intoxicated or driving under influence DUI. The charges were dropped by the Criminal Division 2 of the Seoul Prosecutor's Office on Tuesday, 9 tenths 2024. Reporting from Sumpi, the charges given to Suga were summary charges. This is a procedure in which the Prosecutor's Office asks the court to impose a fine or sentence after a written hearing, rather than bringing the case to a full trial. These summary charges are usually given to those who commit offenses considered relatively minor, However, the prosecutor's office did not explain the specific charges against Suga. Previously, the DUI case against Suga had been transferred from the police to the local prosecutor's office on August 30, 2024. Suga himself has also fulfilled the summons for examination related to the Yongsan police station case, Seoul, South Korea, on August 23, 2024. While present at the police station, he expressed his apologies to the media crew. He admitted that he would be cooperative in undergoing all existing investigations and following the legal process. After the examination, Suga also apologized again with a letter that he handwrote and uploaded on Wevers. He said he was sorry and admitted his actions, which disappointed many people who cared about him. Suga also stated that he accepted all criticism and sanctions for his actions. He will reflect on his actions and promise not to do it again in the future. I reflect on my actions every day with a heavy heart. Once again, I sincerely apologize to the fans who have been hurt because of me. I will humbly accept the criticism and consequences that follow my actions," Shuva concluded. The prosecution has issued an official statement regarding the alleged driving under the influence DUI, incident involving BTS member Shuga. The incident came as a shock to many fans and the general public, given BTS' well-maintained image. According to information from the prosecution, after an intensive investigation, Suga was found not guilty of the charges. Based on the results of the investigation, it was found that the initial report mentioning Suga's involvement in the DUI incident was inaccurate. The authorities confirmed that at the time of the incident, Suga was not in the place or situation associated with the DUI incident. BTS agency, Hybe Labels, has also provided a statement on the matter. They confirmed that Suga was not involved in the DUI incident and expressed their disappointment at the spread of misinformation. Hybe Labels also stated that they will take legal action against those who spread false rumors. Meanwhile, Suga himself has not given a direct statement regarding this issue. However, through social media, he has received a lot of support from fans, who continue to encourage him and believe that the truth will be revealed. This case is a lesson for many, especially regarding the importance of verifying information before disseminating it to the public. The prosecutor also hopes that the public can be more careful in responding to sensitive issues like this and not be easily swayed by unproven speculation. With this decision, Shuga's good name is expected to be fully restored, and he can refocus on his career in music without the burden of unfounded accusations. 
The Seoul Southern District Prosecutor's Office is said to have lightly charged BTS's Suga with driving a scooter while intoxicated or driver under influence DUI. Reporting from Yonhap News, Tuesday, September 10, 2024, the charges against Suga BTS are summary or misdemeanors. Prosecutors are asking the court to impose a fine or confiscation of Suga BTS's driver's license through an expedited process without a full trial. Prosecutors have indicted Suga of K-pop group BTS on charges of driving an electric scooter under the influence of alcohol. A prosecution official said on Tuesday, September 10, 2024, as is known, on August 6, 2024, police officers found Suga falling from his electric scooter near his residence in the Hanum area in Yongsan District. The police officer who was on duty at that location, seeing the incident approached Suga. However, found the rapper drunk and immediately measured the alcohol level. The road traffic law stipulates a prison sentence of between one and two years or a fine ranging from 5 million won, 3,719 US dollars, to 10 million won for drunk driving with a blood alcohol level of 0.08% or more. The prosecution's decision to acquit Shuva of the DUI charge certainly brought great relief, not only to Shuga personally, but also to BTS and their loyal army of fans. Since the rumors surfaced, many fans have been worried about the repercussions that could affect Shuga's career, given BTS' global reputation as one of the biggest music groups in the world today. Following this verdict, observers of the K-pop entertainment industry predict that Shuva and BTS will soon emerge from this issue with greater strength. Many noted that BTS, as a group that is often faced with challenges, has always been able to overcome difficult situations and come back with stronger and more influential works. The support from the army has not diminished in the slightest. After the prosecutor's verdict was released, the hashtag hashtag WestSupportSuga became a trending topic on various social media. Fans around the world expressed their gratitude for this decision and hoped that Shuga could return to his activities without interruption soon. Hybe labels also said that Shuga will continue his activities as usual, including his solo projects and global tour plans. Many are looking forward to Shuga returning to the stage with renewed vigor after going through this ordeal. However, the agency also emphasized that they will not stop here. The legal process to prosecute the spreaders of false rumors is still ongoing. They are committed to protecting their artists from the negative impact of false news. Hybe also hopes that this incident serves as a warning to the media and the public to be more careful in spreading information without clear evidence. With this issue over, BTS fans can focus on the group's musical works, as well as Shuba's much-anticipated solo project. This decision is expected to be a positive turning point for Shuba to continue working and inspiring people through his music. As for BTS, as a group that has always faced challenges with fortitude, is expected to continue their global achievements even stronger, showing that they remain one of the most influential groups in the world music industry. Thank you for watching this video, don't miss it in the next new video, and don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you all.